Hi guys, my name is Melissa. I'm here to bring you this yoga flow today. Before we get started, we're going to do an exercise before the actual physical exercise. So we want to remember that yoga isn't only just physical flow. It's also about spiritual, emotional, and mental health. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab a piece of paper and a pen, and you're going to write five things that you're grateful for today. And when you're done with that, under that, you're going to write five more things that you can do that can make up your ideal day. So the life that you imagine yourself to have. And this is a really great exercise when you want to come back down to earth and ground yourself and just focus on the good things that are around you. There's a lot of things happening right now. Some people are out of work. Some people are sick. Um, some people don't know what the next move is. There's a lot of uncertainty to deal with in life today. And so doing small exercises like that is something that can really help you move along and keep going. And even if you don't do yoga all the time, this is something great to do first thing when you wake up. It can set the tone for your day and it can truly make things better. So when you're all done with that, we're gonna get started. So you just need two yoga blocks and a water bottle and you're all set. So we're gonna get started lying on our backs. So just bringing yourself down on the mat, bringing your legs out long, Maybe bring your feet as wide as the mat. You can have your arms out, palm space up, or what I actually like to do is I like to grab onto my forearms and just frame my face. This helps me get a stretch in the side body while I'm in my first starting pose. And just start settling into that breath. And see where you need to get comfortable. See what you can settle down a little bit more. And see if you can press the back into the earth just a bit. Really feel yourself grounding down into the mat. And as you're breathing, really feel how the chest rises and how it falls. Notice the sounds in the room. Notice if you could really turn on those senses while cutting off one, letting your eyes be closed. So really focusing on what your body is feeling right now. Feeling all of your body parts touch the mat. Feeling how the air moves in and out of the nose and out through the mouth. You see where you can relax into it just a bit more. Feel that body get heavier. Start sending some energy into the body. So focusing, imagining it going down the legs and through the arms. And then when you're ready, on the next inhale, reach the arms overhead, reaching towards the back of the room. Stretching the toes towards the front, maybe wiggling back and forth. Maybe roll out the wrists, roll out the ankles. And then inhale the knees in towards the chest. Give it a big hug. Really compress those hips, squeeze it together. Just make sure you relax your shoulders back. This is where we hold a lot of tension. 
Now your next exhale, we're just going to bring the forehead to the knees and just roll up into that little ball. Bring it back down. Exhale, bring it in. And release. A few more times, really squeeze in tight. Bring it back. Two more times. Last one. Now we're just going to grab a hold of that right knee. We're going to let the left leg come out long onto the mat. Keep that left foot flexed, toes pointing towards the ceiling. You can engage that right foot too. We're just going to bring a gentle press, just bringing that knee in closer towards our chest. Even in poses like these in the beginning of class, we tend to still fidget and wiggle. That's totally okay. Just observe wherever you are. Sometimes it takes some of us to settle down into the pose and into practice. And then next, we're going to bring the sole of the left foot onto the mat and have a bent knee. We're going to come into a half happy baby. So that right knee is going to come in towards the armpit. We're going to grab onto the outside edge of that right foot with our right hand. And then we want to press our sole of the foot to the top of the ceiling. Now, if this is too much, if you feel like you can't really get a hold on that foot, you can always take your arm, wrap that forearm around that leg, and bring it in. If you have a hold of that foot, just keep pressing it out and down. And then notice what happens to the hips. Your left hip wants to lift up in this pose. See if you can ground both hips down into the earth. Keep that left foot grounded down. Just using that breath to relax into it a bit more. On the exhale, maybe give another gentle pull. We're going to let that go. We're going to take the right ankle, place it over the top of that left thigh. We're going to inhale that finger force stretch up. So just grabbing the back of that left thigh with our hands. We want to engage that thigh in the glute just to press that right knee out just a bit more. And when you're ready, you can raise that left foot. And again, pointing and flexing the foot here. Maybe you give it a few movements, maybe re-bend. The more you bring that left leg in, the more of a stretch you're going to get in that outer hip, in that outer thigh, the right thigh. And whenever we're doing stretches like this where we have the legs up and our back is to the earth, keep pressing that tailbone down. Now we're going to keep the legs how they are. We can have our palms face down into the mat. I like to grab onto the sides of the mat. That helps me get a little bit more traction. We're going to gently exhale that figure four down onto the earth. And inhale back up. Exhale to release. Inhale back up. And just two more. And one more. Grab a hold of that back thigh again. Rebend the knee. Give it another gentle stretch in. And then let go. Returning the left foot to the earth. Returning the right foot to the earth. And then inhaling the knees in towards the chest. Maybe rock from side to side. Get a nice massage in the lower back. 
and then coming onto the other side. So this time, grabbing a hold of the left knee, right leg comes along onto the mat. Just pay attention where you can let go a little bit more. Start to release the shoulders back down towards the earth. Keeping both feet engaged as much as you can. And notice what's happening with the muscles in your face. Notice if you're clenching the jaw while you're trying to stretch. You find that, just separate the teeth a bit. When you're ready, coming into that half happy baby on the left side. So grabbing a hold on the outer part of the left foot, we're bending into that right knee, right sole of the foot comes onto the earth. Again, notice what's happening with the hips. Pressing that right hip down, maybe even taking your hand and giving it a gentle press. You could always hook that forearm around that back thigh if you feel like you can't get a hold with the hands. Remember, everybody's practice is for their own body. So just because I'm doing something doesn't mean you have to do it. And if there's anything where you feel like you can go further in a stretch, do that too. When you're ready, letting that go. And just placing the left ankle over the top of that right thigh and inhaling that leg up. Wrapping the hands around the back of the right thigh. And again, engaging that left glute and that left thigh to press out that left knee a little bit more. Then maybe we inhale that leg up. Roll up the ankle. Maybe get some movement in. Notice if you want to bring that right leg a little bit closer, that's going to give you more of a stretch on that outer left thigh. And then coming into those figure four leg lifts. So exhaling down for five. Inhaling for four. Bringing it down for three. Two. And one. Bring it up. Wrap the hands around, re-bend that knee. Give it another gentle press in with your exhale. When you're ready, you can release. Knees come in towards the chest. Give yourself a nice rock from side to side. When you're ready, just taking a hold of that right leg. Left leg comes out long, but it's not going to touch the mat. When you're ready, inhale, we're going to switch legs. Right leg comes out long and it's not going to touch the mat. And switch. And if you want to make it a little bit more of a challenge, you could always lift the head and neck off of the mat. You're just going to keep switching in this motion. And so from here, we're going to do 10 more all together. So go at your own pace, your own breath. When you're all done, bring it in. 
walk from side to side. And let it go. So you're going to grab on to one of your blocks. Your left leg is going to come out long onto the mat. Your right leg is going to be bent at a 90 degree angle. You're going to place the block on the top of that right thigh. That right forearm is going to press against the block with the palm facing forward. You're really going to squeeze that leg and that arm into each other. You're going to inhale the right leg back, or the right arm back. You're going to inhale that left arm back, left leg is staying. You're going to inhale that left arm back, left leg is long. On the exhale, you're going to bring that left knee and left elbow to touch or in towards each other. And bring it out. Exhale, inhale back. And you're going to do 10 all together on this side. Keep pressing that leg and forearm in towards each other. All done, let the feet go. Bring your arms out. Windshield wipers, the legs back and forth. Just give yourself a little break. And when you're ready, we're going to move on to the other side. So grabbing the holes of that block. Left leg comes up. Block is on that left thigh, left arm presses in to the block, and thigh presses into the block. Palm faces towards the front of the room. And just let that right leg come out long, right arm come out long, and then coming in for 10. Breathing it in. into a tabletop position. And before you get into your full tabletop, just make sure both your blocks are at the top of your mat. It's going to help you gain better access to them. So finding your tabletop position. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, tops of the feet are pressed into the mat. Shins are parallel with each other. We're going to come into our cat-cow, so as we inhale, we drop the belly, heart shines through the shoulders, we look up, tailbone is reaching up. As we exhale, we tuck the tailbone, we round the spine, head comes in between the arms. Inhale, press the ground away, really press that heart forward. Exhale, fingers spread wide, round the spine. 
Inhale, drop your belly. Exhale, round it out. Inhale, head comes up. Exhale, head comes down. Find your neutral table. Walk your hands a hand's length in front of you. We're going to come into our first downward facing dog. So we tuck the toes, spread the fingers, spread, spread the fingers wide, press into the earth. Hips come up and back, pedal it out. We're going to press into that right foot, lift the left leg. Bend the knee, open the hip. Coming into three core planks. Shoulders shift over the wrist. We're going to bring that left knee to the left elbow. Inhale it up and back. Core plank. Left knee to left elbow. Inhale up and back. One more. When you're ready, knee comes into the nose. Set that foot up in between the hands. We're gonna come in for our Anjaneyasana monkey pose. So back knee down, untuck the toes, front knee over front ankle, rise the arms up. Maybe walk that front foot out a little bit more if you wanna sink it down. Make sure those hips are square. So maybe that left hip has to come back a little bit, right hip forward. When you're ready, we're going to meet back in that downward facing dog. So exhale, hands onto the mat, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, press it back. When you're ready, high onto tippy toes, rolling over into a plank. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale, roll over into a plank. Inhale, back. One more time, roll it over into a plank. Inhale back. Pressing into that left foot. Right leg comes up and back. Bend the knee, open the hip. When you're ready, three core planks. Exhale, knee comes into the outside of that right elbow. Inhale it up. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale up, last one. Knee comes in towards the nose and step it up in between the hands. Back knee comes down, untuck the toes, shift the hips forward. Maybe right hip comes back at first, left hip comes forward. Knee under, knee directly over front ankle. Inhale up. Maybe you have to shift those shoulders over those hips a bit more, tuck that tailbone down. When you're ready, exhale the hands onto the earth. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. Step back into your downward facing dog. When you're ready, we're just gonna step up to the top of our mat. Hang in your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bring the arms out, reach it all the way towards the sky. Exhale, dive it down. Inhale, halfway lift, find a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach it up. Hands in front of the heart. Bring the eyes to a close, take a few breaths. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Feel the soles of the feet pressing into the mat. When you're ready, glide the eyes back open. So we're gonna come into our yogi squat. 
So bringing the feet wider than the shoulders, heels are in, toes are out. We're just gonna sit the hips low, press the elbows in between the thighs. Now, if this is too much for you, you can always take one of your blocks, or even two, and just sit back down on it. This will help you gain that flexibility a little bit more so you can get those hips open. Now, if you're in your yogi squat, just maybe moving from side to side. And then find stillness. On the next inhale, we're gonna press through the heels, reach it up towards the sky. And exhale, bring it down. Inhale to reach. Exhale to bring it down. Three more times. Two more. One more. Sit it back down into your squat. And then when you're ready, exhale, fold forward. Return the toes towards the front of the room. Maybe we bend the knees a bit. Let the belly rest onto the thighs. Take a generous bend in the left knee, straighten through the right, left fingertips onto the earth. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, switch sides, bend into that right knee, right hand onto the earth, straighten that front left leg, left arm up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, rise all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, bend the knees, shift the weight into the left foot. We're going to step that right foot back on a 45 degree angle. Front leg is staying bent. Inhale, warrior one. Now, again, this is another place where we want those hips facing forward. So if you feel like you're like this on your mat, separate your feet a little bit more so you're on train tracks rather than as height rope. This will allow you to bring that right hip back, left hip forward. I'm sorry, right hip back, right hip forward, left hip back. Inhale, arms up. And coming into our pyramid pose, we're going to bring the hands onto the waist. We're going to straighten through that front leg. Inhale, squeeze those shoulder blades and those arms back. We're going to lead with the heart. Now you can either bring your hands onto blocks or you can bring them onto the floor, whichever is more comfortable and gives you more space. I like to use blocks in this pose. So they can be on any height. They can be on the highest or they can be on the medium or the lowest. We just want to make sure that heart is still coming forward and that spine is still staying long. Now you can eventually fold into this, but you want to get that length first. And again, making sure we're not bringing those hips over towards the left, keeping everything in a nice long line. Now arms should be directly underneath the shoulders. Then when you're ready, you can fold it down. Now getting ready to come out of the pose. We're going to place our hands on our waist, shoulders come back, lift ourselves up. Rebend into that front knee. Inhale, arms up. And 
Now next, we're gonna come in for a revolved triangle. So we're gonna strain through that front leg. That right hand can either come onto the earth or blocks are also your friend during this. Inhale, left arm up. So really grounding down in between both feet. And exhale, left hand down. So we're back into that pyramid pose. When you're ready, re-bend through that front knee. Inhale up through that warrior one. Shift the weight into the front foot. Step to the top of your mat. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Reach all the way up. Exhale, fold it down, bend the knees. Step back into your downward facing dog. Pedal at the feet. And again, taking a step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, gentle bend into the knee. We're gonna step that left foot back this time on that 45 degree angle. Front knee is bent over that front angle. Maybe you shift that front foot forward just a bit, out to the right. And inhale, reach up. Grounding down through both feet, squeezing the legs together. Squaring off those hips, lowering the shoulders away from the ears, being tall in that spine. Coming in for that pyramid pose, exhale, hands onto the waist. Straighten that front leg, squeeze the rib cage together as well as the shoulders and the elbows. We're leading with the heart. And then wherever you reach, whether it's down to the earth or down onto the box, just let the hands be underneath the shoulders. Press that heart forward, shoulders back. We want to create that long spine. Making sure to square off those hips still. Shifting that right hip back. And exhale, surrendering to the pose. Maybe rounding the spine. Inhale, straighten it out. Rebound that front leg, hands onto the waist. Inhale up, warrior one. Coming in for that reverse triangle. So straining through that front leg, exhaling the left hand down onto the earth or onto the block. Tucking the belly in so you can really twist from that midsection. Right arm up. When you're ready, back into that pyramid pose. Lengthen out the spine. And inhale back to warrior one. Reach it up. Shift the weight into the front foot to step it up to the top. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees so the palms find the mat. Step back into your downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet, find some movement. And then find some stillness. Take a little bit of a bend of the knee to really send that tailbone up and back. Head is strong in between the arms. Exhale, shoulders over, wrist roll into a plank. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, shoulders over, wrist roll into a plank. Exhale, up and back. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, knee comes in between the nose. Step it up in between the hands. We're going to pivot the back foot, setting up for warrior two. Front heel should be intersecting with that back arch. Front knee directly over front ankle. Inhale it up. Arms are parallel with the earth. Maybe widen your stance just a bit. When you're ready, left forearm onto that left thigh. Inhale, right arm up overhead. Really find length from those right fingertips down to the back of that right foot. If you want to take this pose a step further, you can create a bind over that left thigh. So that right arm wraps around, left arm wraps under that left thigh. Grab a hold of the clasp of your hands and then pull that right shoulder up. Keep pressing those hips forward. And when you're ready, let the bind go. We're going to place the left hand onto the earth. Inhale the right arm up. This is also where blocks are your friends to bring the earth closer to you if you need a little bit more space into the pose. You're really ready. Press into the ground with the feet. Inhale the arms up. Warrior two. Coming back into that down dog. Cartwheeling the hands down onto the earth. Coming onto the ball of the back foot. Move the block out of the way if you had it there. And then coming into your downward facing dog. When you're ready, inhaling that right leg up. Exhale, knee in comes towards the nose. Step it up. Setting up for your warrior two. Lift the chest. Shoulders are over the hips. Front knee bent directly over front ankle. Lower the shoulders, relax it away from the ears. You're ready? Right arm on top of that right thigh. Left arm up overhead. And remember, you're not placing all the weight onto that right thigh. You just want to touch it gently. So a lot of that strength is coming in from your core. When you're ready, taking this stretch a step forward, bringing that left arm back. Right arm comes under the right thigh. Grabbing a hold of the clasp of those hands. Pull that left shoulder back. Press those hips forward. And when you're ready, right hand comes onto the earth or onto a block. Knees staying bent. Inhale, left arm up. Mm -hmm. 
Really press the feet into the earth. Come back into your warrior two. When you're ready to come back into that down dog, cartwheel the hands down. Come onto the ball of that back foot. Step it back. Paddle out the feet, find some movement. Find stillness. So really reaching those heels towards the earth, getting a nice stretch in that back hamstring. Take a few breaths. Really feel the strength in your downward facing dog. As we come through our practice, notice how each of them feels different. When you're ready, lower the knees onto the earth, untuck the toes, take a child's pose. Bring the head down. Inhale up through a long table. So hips step directly over the knees. Tuck the back toes. Lift the hips. Shift the weight into that right foot. Lift the left leg. Exhale, knee comes in towards the nose. Step that foot up in between the hands. Come onto the ball of that back foot. Really press both feet into the earth. Inhale, arms up overhead, high lunge. Making sure that tailbone is tucked. Shoulders away from the ears. Shoulders are over the hips. So we're gonna start lowering that back knee. So as we exhale, dropping it down. Inhaling up. For four. Three, two, and one. We're going to shift the weight forward. Step up to the top of the mat. Toes pointed forward. We're going to exhale into a chair pose. Belly button is tucked in. Tailbone is down. Inhale, rise it up. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, palms find the mat. Step back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, knee comes in towards the nose. Step it up. Sit up for your high lunge on this side. Inhale, rise. Exhale, back knee down. Rise it up. For four. Three. Two. And one. Shift it forward. And step it up. Chair pose. Inhale, rise it up. Exhale, dive it down. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees. Downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee comes in between the nose. Step it up. Inhale, rise it up, high lunge. Shift the weight forward. Now we're going to really step into that left foot. Bring that right knee in towards the chest. So that right leg is on a 90 degree angle. We're going to come into our one-legged chair. So bringing that right ankle on the top of that left thigh. Bring the hands apart in front of the heart. We're gently just going to sit back. So it's like our legs are in that same figure four pose as we did in the beginning. Bring that heart forward, shoulders come back. From here, we're going to come back into that high lunge. So rising it up. Hinge from the hips forward. And then gently step that back foot on the earth. Warrior two. Shift the back foot down. Cartwheel the hands down. And up. When you're ready, inhale the right leg up. Exhale, knee comes in towards the nose, press the earth away, step it up in between the hands. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, shift it forward. Press into that right standing leg. Take off, bring the left foot in. Left knee in towards the chest. Coming in to that one-legged chair, placing the left ankle over the top of the right thigh. Hands come into prayer in front of the heart. Sit it back. Let that heart be forward. Shoulders come back. See where you can find the quiet space to keep yourself still. Maybe not thinking about it too much. Just seeing what comes up. When you're ready, inhale it up. Rise to knee. Exhale, hinge from the hips back into that crescent lunge. Gently place the foot back down. When you're ready, exhale, warrior two. Dive down. Downward facing dog. Exhale, shoulders over wrists come into a plank. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, shoulders over wrists come into a plank. Inhale, up back. One more time, roll forward. Bring it back. When you're ready, lower the knees, untuck the toes, sit back onto the shins, take a breather. Always remembering that rest is important. Grab a drink of water. Knowing that you don't have to be completely go, go, go through your practice. Sitting back on the shins, inhaling the arms up, and exhaling it down. Inhale, rise it up. Exhale, release. Inhale, bring it up towards the sky. Exhale, bring it down. 
coming into a table, coming into a wide-legged child's pose. Bring the knees as wide as your mat. Big toes come to touch. Forehead comes down. Taking a few breaths here. When you're ready, slowly rising it up. Again, reaching up towards the sky. Exhale, coming back into that table. Coming into your long table. Down and up. Take a step to the top of your mat. Inhale, rise it up. Exhale, hands in between the heart. Coming back in for that yogi squat, separating the feet, heels in, toes out, sit it back. So you could drop that tailbone a little bit more. Lower the shoulders, bring that heart forward. Plant the soles of the feet onto the ground. Inhale, forward fold. Take a bend in that left knee. Outside of the left hand presses against that right chin. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, lower down, switch sides. Bend into that right knee. Right hand on the outside of that left shin. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, lower down. Take a slight bend in the knee. Step that right foot all the way back. Lower the back knee. Untuck the toes. Come back in for that monkey pose. Just noticing the opening. Notice if this feels any more different than the first one that you did. Maybe take a slight back bend, clasp the fingers, turn the pumps up, look up. And you're ready, exhale, hands onto the earth, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, step it up. Bend the knees, set the left foot all the way back. Coming into that monkey pose. Keep that chest lifted, keep those shoulders back. And maybe you take this slight back bend on this side. Clasping the fingers, palms face up towards the earth. Inhale, leading with that heart. Exhale back. Bring the hands down. Tuck the back toes. Lift the back knee. Step it up. Bend the knees. Down dog. knees onto the earth, untuck the toes, swing the legs around. We're going to meet on our backs. So bringing the knees in towards the chest, 
Giving yourself a rock from side to side. And here we're gonna take a full happy baby. So grabbing onto the outsides of the feet, pulling the knees in towards the chest. Remember, like the same thing in the beginning, if you can't get the hands onto the feet, just hook the arms around the back of the thighs. So you really wanna focus on pressing that tailbone down onto the earth. Knees are coming in towards the armpits. Soles of the feet are pressing against the ceiling, like you're trying to step onto the sky. Maybe rock from side to side. your elbows just press those thighs out a little bit more and when you're ready let that go bring the knees in towards the chest we're going to grab a hold of that right thigh left leg comes out long we're gonna bring the outside of that left hand onto the, out, the inside of that left hand onto the outside of that right leg. And just gently folding it over towards the left. So you really wanna focus on keeping that left shoulder down onto the earth. Your head can be looking towards the right, it can be looking up towards the left, whatever is more comfortable for you. Inhale, bring it up. Both knees come in. Right leg out. Right hands onto the outside of that left leg. Fold the left leg over towards the right. Left shoulder stays down. Hand is really reaching out to open that shoulder. Gentle rock from side to side. And just rounding your knees out, bringing them together, bringing them apart. And then switch directions. Not long onto the mat. Maybe bringing the feet as wide as the mat. Bringing the arms out to the sides, palms face up. Or bringing the arms up. Just holding onto the forearms. Focusing on that breath, settling down in your last pose. Feeling the legs get heavier into the mat. 
as you feel the feet fall away from each other. And notice the lower back pressing into the mat. Notice the shoulders melt a little bit more back. Bring attention to the muscles in your face, separating the teeth, unhinging the jaw, relax the tongue. Let the eyes be closed and be heavy. And just feel the head melt into the ground a bit more. Notice the space between the eyebrows rest. breath be natural without any force. Just let your body be where it is. And just feel your mind gently drift away from wherever you are. Bring it back When you're ready, just taking that breath a bit deeper. Without moving a thing in your body, just gently sending air throughout the legs and throughout the arms, bringing awareness back to where you are, the space that you're in. Start listening to the sounds in the room. Just start letting your mind be active again. And on your next inhale, raising the arms up overhead, reaching towards the back of the room. Let the feet reach towards the front. Maybe you move from side to side. Rolling out the wrists, rolling out the ankles. And when you're ready, inhaling the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself just a big hug, wrapping your arms around. Maybe bring a slight smile to the face. towards a seated position with your eyes closed. So just shifting over towards the right into a fetal curl for a moment. And then gently using the strength of both arms and the quiet space within making your way to a seated position, trying to keep your eyes closed. 
throughout this whole process. Don't worry about where you land on your mat. Bringing the hands to prayer in front of the heart and gently bowing the chin towards your chest. Thank yourself for coming onto your mat today to practice. For giving yourself a little love during this time. When you're ready, inhale your head up. And gently glide the eyes open. And I thank you so much for coming to practice with me. Namaste.